everyone so now let's do one more lab about the eigrp already as we know in the ccna 200-301 cisco remove the eigrp okay cisco remove the eigrp from the ccna but anyhow i want my student to learn this one also because this is also important for interview purpose so even in the ccna cisco remove we will cover this topic also okay so already we discussed some theory i hope you remember so now let's do one lab so you will have the idea about that one and in this one we are going to do the eigrp authentication lab eigrp authentication lab okay this is not there in your ccna syllabus but for the knowledge purpose we are going to do this one so let's do now okay so what i will do i will take r1 and r2 we will take two router let me connect from here this is two router let me give the name as a r1 and this one as a r2 this is two router we are going to use the ip schema here i will write here 192.168.1.1 and this side we will use the other one that is 192.168.1.2 so this is ip schema we are going to use what we are going to do we are going to configure the eigrp in the fast ethernet 0 by 0 of r1 and in the fast ethernet 0 by 0 of r2 so let's do now so i will take the console of the r1 this is a console of r1 okay cli of r1 we are going to configure now in the r1 simple this is simple uh, as we discuss in our last class okay first what we need to do first we need to do the okay i create well let me by mistake what i say yes actually we will uh, give no so easily we can go for direct here i put yes so he is asking me so many thing so what i will do i will switch off switch on the router so it will boot up again and we will write no so no need to define each and everything directly we can go for our configuration okay so router is started i will write here no let me write no and then first we will change the host name so i will write the host name is r1 after that we are going to assign the ip address so i will write fast ethernet 0 by 0 we will give ip address 192.168.1.1 zero. then we will write no shared okay so we assign the ip to that interface after that let's do the eigrp so i will write router eigrp and if you see here we can get uh, we can write autonomous system that is from 1265535 any number we can give from this range if you see from this range we can give any number so we will use one i give here one okay after that i need to configure the network so i will write here network and whatever network i want to advertise i can give that one i want to advertise this one so i can give the network id and the wildcard mask okay so, or if you want to advertise for the lab purpose we can do this way also this way if we write it will work also so what is the meaning of this one i will say whatever the ip of all the interface enable the eigrp but don't do this in the production network for lab purpose we can do this way or if you want i can write full let me remove this maybe you will you are confused so what we will do we will write network after that network id 192.168.1.0 then we need to write the wildcard mask 0.0.0.255 okay and we can write no auto summary if you are using the old version we need to write no auto summary because in the old version summarization is enabled if you are using the latest version router summarization is disabled so no need to write no auto summary but anyhow i configured the ospf here i did not enable the authentication here okay we will enable after some time so now let me do the configuration for r2 also so i will go in r2 i will enable here i will write here config t then i will change the host name as r2 after that we are going to assign the ip here also fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip address 192.168.1.2255.255.255.0 no shirt i hope you already know how we can assign the ip right after that i will write here router eigrp and we need to write the same as number if you write different then it will not work 
so we need to give the same as number after that we can write network and whatever the network id 192.168.1.0 and wildcard mask 0.0.255 okay we write the 0.0.0.255 after that no auto summary if you are using new no need to write this command new version of router if you are software version is above 15 no need to write so if you see they have the neighborship okay they have the neighborship let me write show uh, show ip eigrp neighbor so with this one we can see i am in the r2 r2 is getting one neighbor okay this is a uh, series number so this is zero if you have one more neighbor you will have the one and the neighbor id will come so this is our neighbor neighborship form here if i enable the authentication one side neighborship will go down we need to enable both the side authentication okay so what i will do first i will go in the r1 and i will enable the authentication here so what we need to do if you want to enable authentication we need to create the key chain okay this is a key chain we need to create like a key chain in that one we need to put the key so what we need to keep here you need to give the name of the key chain so i will give key chain name is cisco okay I created one keychain. I am giving the name of the keychain is Cisco keychain, and after that we need to define the key. So I will write here key. We can give key number anything. If you see, we can define from zero to this number. I will give key is one. I am assigning one key, and in that key I am putting some string. What is a string? I will give Cisco one. We can give anything. So what I done here? I created one keychain. Okay, if you see, I created one keychain. I give that name as Cisco. In that way, in in keychain, I created key one, and in that one, I assign this Cisco one. Same thing, we need to assign this in another side also. Okay, so this way we will create the keychain. After that, I need to go under that interface. Which interface we want to enable this one? Fast Ethernet zero by zero. After that, I will write IP authentication mode. eigrp1 and which type of authentication here we have md5 message digestive five so we will use md5 when we put this one if you see the neighborship go down because here it is enabling the authentication here no authentication okay after that we will write ip authentication keychain what is the keychain we are uh, applying here in the eigrp1 cisco this is our keychain name if you see here here we created keychain and we give the name as a cisco in that one we create key one and we give that string as cisco one <laughs> so here also we can create any keychain but here we need to give this as a string so what i will do i will go in this uh, r2 if you see we don't have any neighbor show ip igrp neighbor we don't have any neighbor now okay we don't have any neighbor show ip igrp neighbor we don't have anything so what i will do i will create here also key chain so how we will create we will write key chain and what name you want to give you can give any name i will give here abc okay i created one key chain with the name abc you can create anything after that i will put one key here okay i put one key here after that i will write key string we need to give the key string same both the sides so i put the cisco one and then what i will do i will go under that interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 after that i will write here ip authentication mode eigrp1 md5 and then ip authentication keychain keychain eigrp what is the keychain name we give abc abc or what we give eigrp1 and then name abc okay so if you see here when i give the keychain name the neighborship come up the neighborship come up if you want i will show you here if you see show ip eigrp neighbor so now you have the neighbor so what you, what i done here if you see here in this one i created one keychain here in the r2 i give name abc but here i created a keychain and i give here name is cisco okay here i give kitchen name is cisco you can give any name here i am giving kitchen name as cisco here i am giving kitchen name as abc but in that one whatever key we are creating the key string should be match 
so here key one key string cisco one in this one i created key one and i give the key string as cisco one so i after that what we done we go under that interface and we apply that authentication when we apply that authentication here what we need to do we need to write ip authentication mode eigrp1 md5 after that we write ip authentication keychain eigrp1 whatever the keychain name so keychain name here abc when i put this one never ship go up okay why we use authentication because if anyone in your network if they want to play that one example imagine you have here one switch example imagine you have one switch here okay you have one switch here and one guy your uh, organization one guy is sitting here okay i taken the router symbol but imagine this guy is having kali linux here this guy is having kali linux here he is sitting here and this interface let me enable this interface so you will have the idea what i will do interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 ip address i will give ip here 192.168.2.1 255.255.255.0. I will write no shut here, and let me put this also in the EIGRP this interface. So I will write router EIGRP one network network 192.168.1.2.0.2.2.0.2.0.0.0.255. Okay. So with this one. This network is also going to advertise in the EIGRP. If you see in the R2, you will have this one. Show IP uh, root EIGRP. In EIGRP, you are getting two root. This one and this one. This new one which we added just now here, that is also getting here. Example 192.168.2.1. Okay, 2.1 here. And I will enable here also the kitchen. What I will do here. I will go under that interface. Interface fast Ethernet zero by one. Okay. After that, I will write IP authentication mode EIGRP one MD five, and I will write IP authentication keychain EIGRP one keychain name we give here Cisco, right? Cisco. So I enable here authentication to this interface here and here. Okay. If you see what we are getting here. I am uh, getting here the show IP root. If you see, I am learning this one. In our routing table, we are getting this. But now, imagine this guy. This is a hacker. He is having the Kali Linux, and he want to form the neighborship. He want to get all the roots. So what he will do? Don't think this is a router. Think that one. This is like a Kali Linux. Your user he will get the IP from the DSCP. Same network IP he will get. Okay, same network IP he will get. After that maybe he will run the EIGRP here. Okay, what he will do here? No shut. After that this guy will write router EIGRP. One network he will do zero dot zero dot zero. and he will form the neighborship he will form the neighborship here but we enable the authentication here so this guy will not form the neighborship example if you don't have authentication here this guy will form the neighborship okay this guy will form with the r1 and he will try to send his roots and he will he will try to get all other roots to save that one what we will do we will put the authentication here if you see here show ip root you are not having show ip eigrp neighbor if you see nothing is coming here why because we enable the authentication here that's why this guy is not getting anything that's why we are enabling the authentication imagine in your organization you are having imagine like the small scenario this is your head office this is your branch office and this is your user okay this imagine this is a pc this guy is sitting here he is accessing something but later he came to know that you are running the eigrp he enable the eigrp here and then he will send whatever root he want to send to this network and he will get all your roots from there to here to overcome this types of situation what we will do we will enable the authentication here 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 
so this guy cannot form the neighbor if you see we don't have any neighborship here but if you want this guy to form the neighbor if he know the password then he will do example if he imagine this guy know the password so what he will do he will create the keychain okay first he will create the keychain so keychain whatever he want to do example he give a b c after that he will create key one and then what he will do he will create the key string he know that password or so he created that one after that he will put this in the interface interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 he will write ip authentication authentication mode eigrp1 md md5 and then he will write ip authentication eigrp it ip authentication keychain eigrp1 and what is the keychain name he give abc if you see if he know the password then he get the neighborship see he become the neighbor that's why we should not share our uh, username and uh, our password what i want to say you here this is the hacker in your organization the guy who is playing with your network this guy and you enable the authentication here 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 he is using the kali linux he try to send the eigrp packets here and he want to make neighborship but he cannot because you enable the authentication here but somewhere he saw that whatever authentication you keep and he put that one in the key that is cisco one and he make the neighborship so you need to make sure you save the password you cannot uh, what we can say you, you don't give the password to anyone okay so in short what we can say we we use the authentication so other guy cannot become the neighbor okay so this is the lab if you want i can show you the configuration what we done here let me show you here i will write show run so you can check what configuration we done if you see here this is the configuration okay under that interface we write this one and also if you see here this is a eigrp we configure and this is the key we created keychain and we add the key and we created the key string and we enable in the under the interface that's all this is only the configuration this is a basic lab to learn how we can uh, do the eigrp authentication okay i hope you enjoyed this lab thank you bye